This might be the rarest New York City apartment you ever see. Right there, you can see the financial center. Over here, you can see Midtown. And it actually looks like a really nice place. Full size dishwasher, this landlord's not playing. Interesting lighting setup in here too. And each bedroom has its own gorgeous full size bath. But why is there no power? So I could put the camera on the ground, but not. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. We're in Bay Ridge, I think. Okay, this might actually be Park Slope. I'm the best real estate agent ever. Right when you get off, you got a grocery store, and this seems like an area that I should be more familiar with. I mean, look at this massive street. There's like businesses and tons of traffic, and best of all, look at that. We got a five minute walk from the train to the apartment. Interesting, I see a Dunkin' Donuts, which looks like it's gonna be torn down. It's probably for the best. And look at that, right over here, and you get yourself a fresh hot bagel instead. Then over here, we got a little auto repair. I love the crazy old door that they've got. And after you fix your car, you can fix your phone. Right over here on this little table with help from the people in the store. Whoa, look at that, 99 cents. That's gonna save you some money. Just don't get the toilet paper. That might be a painful experience. This beautiful BMW, New Jersey plates, crashed into something. Story checks out. Okay, we got some restaurants. This looks like a Turkish place. I could go for a chicken gyro pretty much any time of the day. Oh, nice. And this right here, it's a Peruvian restaurant, but they have Peruvian chicken. This is the name of this place. It's probably really, really good. better than I remember it, but I don't think it beats Popeyes. It's close. And this is a million times better than both McDonald's and Burger King put together. If that's the best chicken sandwich in the neighborhood, I don't think that's a bad thing. Then we have another candy store next to the J Diner. All these signs are making me want French toast. The Tin Cup Cafe. Look at this little place. I was told to check it out. There's people inside. They are laptop warriors. Cool thing about that cafe is it's right over there and the apartment is just down the street this way. I like this block a lot. If you didn't know any better, you'd think we were somewhere in the West Village with all these little buildings. How cool is this? This is probably the last house anywhere in New York. That's quite a setback. It's right over there. You got a little driveway and it kind of blends right in. And it's probably nice inside. This looks like an older building that's got a renovated interior. Usually places like this are the best way to get something decent and save some money. If you end up wanting to live here, make sure you check out the video description. This is interesting. And it actually looks like a really nice place. Kitchen looks fancy. Interesting lighting setup in here too. Bedrooms look awesome. And each bedroom has its own gorgeous full size bath. I was told there was laundry, but I don't see it. Let's start opening some doors. Okay, nothing. These look like storage lockers, which is definitely handy. There's a bathroom down here for some reason. All right, one of these has to have laundry in it. But which one? There's so many. Nope, nothing here. Hey, laundry in the building, you don't have to leave to clean your clothes. And since this was hard to find, maybe your neighbors won't ever end up using it. Wow. 
Wow, that is like an unbeatable view of the city. You can see everything. Right there, you can see the financial center. Over here, you can see Midtown. You've also got a perfect view of the Statue of Liberty. Look at that. And then uh, on this other end, you can see the rest of Brooklyn. There's like a church steeple. I definitely didn't expect to have a view like this up here. Not at all. So I'm not a detective. I'm guessing that there's no power since no one lives here. But since this is a four bed, four bathroom with a $5,500 price tag, that means you can get a room like this for $1,375 with a bathroom that's nicer than most of what you'll find in New York. And look at that, each room is keyed. So this is like having your own apartment. The common space is massive, 21 feet by 13 feet, seven inches. Over by the brick wall, you could have a massive couch. And right here between those two rooms, that's where the entertainment center goes. You might also be able to get a kitchen table over here, but there is a breakfast bar. It's got a little pantry, plus you could get some stools under it. And it's powered, so you could plug things in and set them on top. The rest of the kitchen's super nice too. Everything's full size. Full size dishwasher, this landlord's not playing. And I love this vent, which looks like it was stolen from a restaurant. The sink itself is also really big. And look at that, we got ourselves a fancy little sink sprayer right there, separate from the faucet. In New York, this is how you know you've made it. But the big question is, are these bedrooms worth 13.50 each? This one, 10 feet, two inches by nine feet, three inches. It's got two pretty big windows. Looking out over what looks like the back of the building, but it is sunny and there's not really any noise. The closet is over here in the hallway. Okay, it's decent. Can I fit inside? Sort of. Um, maybe what you'll want to do is put your bed in the corner and then put your other storage against the wall. But the full-size bath in here, this is a total home run. The sink looks classy, love that. Then over here, medicine cabinet looks nice as well. Got the little shelf, the tub, and the sprayer. What do you think? Should they have removed this, made it a closet, and made the actual room bigger? Not the most exciting layout, but it's 12 feet, 10 inches by eight feet, five inches. Same hallway closet. Is the bath different? No, nope. this has the same bath as the room directly next door, but that's not the case with these other two street facing rooms. These have a totally different view. Look at that, you can check on if there's any city bikes left. Plus you can kind of see the expressway. These are definitely gonna be brighter, but one of them has a really small sink. This is the room with the small sink. I think it might be the biggest. This space here, excluding the hallway, 10 feet by eight feet. We've got two windows and the street view. Oh, but this bathroom is not gonna be for everybody. Oh, it got dark. My hands are big enough for this. You don't have a tub, you have a standing shower, but everything in here is nice, that's for sure. You got the same rack above the throne. I could make it work. The closet here, this looks like the same closet that the other two rooms had. But this fourth room has the biggest closet. That's double what we get in any of the other rooms. And the bathroom, dun, 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 we've seen this before, very nice, love it. The only issue is we've got the one window and it's 10 and a half by eight feet. Decent. Did you have fun? Subscribe, pick another video up here, and I will see you in the next one.